Hello, my name is Ilya, and today I'm going to be talking about sponge examples, energy latency attacks on neural networks. This is joint work with University of Cambridge, University of Toronto, and Vector Institute. I'm not going to surprise anyone by saying that machine learning is practically everywhere. One of the defining features of modern machine learning is its data-driven nature. It's very uncommon to find formal rules as part of the decision process, and most modern models learn in a weakly supervised fashion, just from observing data. This in turn makes our models very non-deterministic and leads to practical problems. One such problem is security. It's super hard to tell what security even means for machine learning models and what to expect from them. When talking about security of machine learning, people usually talk about adversarial examples. Adversarial examples are data points that have been edited in a special way that manipulate model behavior. Consider the bird example on the slide. A typical model treats the image on the left as a bird whereas by adding the noise shown in the middle, the image suddenly turns into a car in the eyes of the model. Do note that the added perturbation is normalized just to make it visible. As of right now, adversarial examples exist against practically all of the models, and there is a very large taxonomy of different attackers, commonly targeting integrity and confidentiality. But little is known about availability. Our paper is the first to demonstrate that availability of machine learning can be attacked, and such attacks work in practice against modern ML as a service. Availability. NIST defines availability as timely and reliable access to and use of information. For our purposes, we consider availability to refer to the amount of time and energy required for the machine learning model to make a decision. We define a new class of adversarial examples that target latency and call them sponge examples. These are data points that take significantly more time or energy to make a decision. Do note that here we are only considering a single point being processed at a time, and there is no concurrent computation happening. Furthermore, we do not increase the input dimension, and the sponge examples are well within the scope of normal well-formatted data. Amount of energy required to perform a model inference pass is defined by two main factors, number of arithmetic operations and number of memory accesses. It may appear striking that the same model inference pass can consume a significantly different amount of energy and take a different amount of time to finish. The number of arithmetic operations in the single model pass is fixed after all, right? Yet the secret lies in that there, are, there is a large number of different optimizations put in place to enable smooth and efficient machine learning. These optimizations is what we attack. In the paper, we consider two different types of such optimizations. We consider sparsity and computational dimensionality. In this talk, I will focus on the latter purely because of time constraints. Yet it is worth noting that the attacks are not specific to these exact optimizations and will likely work against other optimizations as well. Modern networks have what we call computational dimensions and are a part of a larger machine learning loop. For example, a large number of natural language processing tasks are autoregressive, meaning that they take their previous outputs as inputs. This in turn means model inference happens a large number of times until the output is exhausted. Because each new output depends on the previous output, everything runs sequentially, not benefiting from parallelization. At the same time, limited dictionary sizes forced optimizations to appear in the input and output dimensions. Modern NLP pipelines used byte pair encoding or BPE, to improve token representation of the text provided to them. Models break down text into tokens that can be processed by the model in the most efficient and representative fashion, but more on this in a bit. Consider an example of a very generic transformer pipeline. Here we take an input, tokenize and encode it. This is where we get to line 7, an unbounded while loop, which runs until the end of sequence token is produced. If an attacker can force the model inference on line 11 to never produce such a token, the loop could run forever, life locking and consuming energy along the way. Now to adaptive input dimensions and byte pair encoding. BPE encodes text provided to it by finding largest commonly used subwords. Word athazagoraphobia would be commonly represented as four tokens and would require only four tokens to be processed and encoded. Yet a single mistake in its input, O turning to P, forces the representation to change. Now instead of four, seven tokens have to be processed, increasing the amount of work required by almost a factor of two. 
taken to the limit, an adversary can fully negate BP optimization, forcing the number of tokens to be the same as the length of the string. Now that it's clear how an adversary may cause performance degradation, how do we find such sponge examples efficiently? We make use of an evolutionary algorithm, optimizing over either energy or latency to perform the attack. Because of gradient-free nature of the genetic algorithm, we can perform our attack in a fully black box way. We start off with random data points, throw them at the model, measure latency or energy, and combine the best performing samples together. Over time, this procedure leads to discovery of very potent sponge examples. To learn more about domain-specific optimizations, please refer to the paper. When testing Facebook's NLP toolset on our hardware, we find that performing the attacks in both white and black box setups leads to comparable performance on all of the platforms considered. Similarly, latency and energy both represent a fitness function that helps discovery of potent sponges. Black box performance in this experiment naturally leads to a question. Can we run such attacks against the mill as a service currently deployed by tech companies? Indeed. We find that we can discover sponge examples that cause performance degradation of Azure provided translation service. Baseline 1 millisecond is natural text, whereas where sponge performance observed is almost 7 seconds, with degradation factor estimated in thousands. Here, we report 4 individual runs of the attack. Note that optimization here happens over network and latency is noisy. The fitness function itself is noisy. Figure on the right shows Azure reported latency numbers, whereas figure on the left shows latency observed by our node running the attack. Interestingly, we see that Azure reported numbers have a lot more variation to them, suggesting that alongside the ML model, the attack exploits something in the pipeline. The bottom line is the availability attack works against ML as a service and can cause significant performance degradation. It is worth noting that we use very small inputs. Uh, in this experiment, it's, it's 50 characters long. And it's clear that larger inputs would have a much larger impact. Overall, we find that it is possible to attack machine learning model availability in both white and black box settings. We find in the paper that we can break both hardware optimizations and computational optimizations in the model pipeline. When targeting algorithmic complexity, we find we can cause significant degradation even for currently deployed ML as a service, even when attacking over network and the fitness function is noisy. To summarize, we find that the average case differs greatly from the worst case scenario for an availability attacker. Unsurprisingly, we see that the attacker can manipulate the machine learning model and also mechanisms alongside its pipeline. The main lesson is that for any optimization, one should anticipate an attacker who could invert that said optimization. In the paper, we note on a possible defense. We propose to measure the expected amount of time for a model run and kill its operation if it takes too long. Yet it's clear that it's not one size fits all solution. And significantly more work is required in order to protect our deployments against availability attackers. Thank you very much for listening. And if there are any questions, please do not hesitate reaching out.